previous video and or another video on the channel labeled stock takes. In this video I'm going to be covering stock adjustments. Now the main difference between a stock take and a stock adjustment is a stock take is going to set all of the stock within the system to what you provide. A stock adjustment is only going to affect um, the stock in which you supply a new value. So a stock take is going to occur for everything in an allocation, all of your stock is going to be reset. A stock adjustment is only going to adjust what you want to adjust. So firstly, how we find stock, to, uh, stock adjustments, we're going to go onto our dashboard and from there we can find our inventory section of deer. From here, we can then either create a stock adjustment um, from our new section, or we can go to stock takes and stock adjustments here, which I'm going to do. From here, it's going to give you a list of all stock takes and stock adjustments within the system. Um, so you can tell the difference by using the type, this one has been a stock take and this one would be a stock adjustment. You can also see their status, so these ones have been completed, but this is just in draft. Um, so now I'm going to create a new stock adjustment. So once we press the plus button, it's going to give us the option to pick between a stock take or a stock adjustment. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the stock adjustment. Once we've clicked that, the first step is going to be filling out the primary details for the stock adjustment, which is going to be the date it's occurring, the expense account where any discrepancies in the uh, value of stock are going to post to. So do we have a discrepancies account? We don't have a discrepancies account currently connected here. So I'm just going to be posted mine to, let's say, cleaning. Um, and then finally, we can add in a reference of why this stock adjustment is occurring or when this is posted to zero, the balance will, or the difference in the balance will be posted alongside this reference. So the people who are, or the accountants running zero will understand this is how it needs to be reconciled because it was an adjustment in stock. So um, I'm going to call this one damage stock. It might be a good idea to provide an SKU in here, potentially. However, since it's only being taken away from your inventory account anyway, it might not be necessary. Now that our main details have been provided, um, the next step is going to be listing the items that we're actually going to be affecting with the stock adjustment. So if we want to add any new products to the system that currently don't exist within there, we're going to go to the zero stock option here and press plus. From here, we can then specify the location where we're going to be adding these new goods to. So for example, I'm going to be adding to the main warehouse. And we can then also select the goods we're actually going to be adding to the system. You can search the name or SKU of the product in here, or you can just scroll through and select a product like so. From there, you can then supply a quantity of the product you're going to be adding. So for example, five, and a cost against that product. So this is pulled in the average cost of one. However, we can overwrite that to give it a cost, um, a more accurate cost if we would like. You can then add in a comment as to why this was added. And finally, if it is a batch tracked or uh, expiring product, you can add in your batch number and expiry date against the adjustment. Um, from here, once we're happy with this, we can then add in any products that don't, uh, that do already exist in the system, we can adjust the stock values for those products. So if we click the plus button here, we can then get given a list of all current stock within the entire system. This includes every single location. So as you can see here, we have warehouse and factory raw goods. We have the SKUs on the left and we have the quantities on the right. So I want to adjust something in the main warehouse. So we have our battery management controllers here. I'm going to be adjusting the amount we have in the main warehouse. So I'm going to click this option here and it's going to pre-fill out all my details. From there, you can see that currently on hand we have one and our new quantity is set to zero currently, which is giving us a variance of minus one. So effectively, we're removing one from stock. Since I've labeled um, this stock adjustment as damaged stock, that makes sense. However, if we wanted to, we could also add in a higher number here and you'll see our variance changes to a positive value since we're adding stock in. I'm gonna set that to zero for now. Um, from there, I'm just gonna remove this line as well and save and from there we can then complete now that we've done that we can then go to our financials and we're going to see the journal that is then going to be posted to zero so you can see here that we are debiting our prepayments account and crediting our uh, cleaning account of the value of minus eight thousand pounds now that would be due to the value of the items uh, affected by this 
So it's likely that this item here is the cause of that. Once you're happy with that, that is then your stock adjustment complete. Unless you are going to want to um, revert back to the way you, the system was. In which case, you can either press the undo button here to revert the uh, stock adjustment back to draft. And that's going to revert all stock to the way it was. Or you can press the void button to completely delete it. Um, that's going to be all from me. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the future. Bye.